take it away. So I'm presenting on the cleft palate, uh, mostly dogs, but it also occurs in humans, cats, ruminants, and I think there's like cases of camels getting it. It's so interesting. So it's a cleft palate is an opening between like the mouth and nose. It could be here, and it normally happens in during embryonic development. Um, if it's in the lips, it's a uh, it's called a primary cleft palate, and it could be like a cleft lip or a hair lip is like not all the way up to the nostril, but just like mm. barely. Um, and there are occurrences along the roof of the mouth, and those are called secondary cleft palates. And it's a hard palate if it affects the bone, and it's a soft like and okay, so it affects hard palates or soft palates or both. Um, so hard palates like the bone, the top of your mouth, and then soft palates like in the back. Okay, well, let me make sure I get this straight. A cleft lip would be all the way up to the nostril. Yes. And then, okay, so look at this. This is perfect. Yeah. Okay, so then, okay, you explain it. So I, this I, would be like the, like um, a hair lip, hair almost lip. like okay. not not all the way up to the nostril. Okay. While this would be like a full cleft lip. Cleft lip. Okay, and, and then, then that doesn't mean there's a. Anything with the palate wrong, though, does it? Mm, no, there's like two separate yeah, it's cases. Be. So primary is just lips, and then secondary is um, of the palate. The palate. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is like an example of a dog with. I guess they can get a lot worse too. That what you got up there? Severity. Explain what's up there in the upper left. This is a dog with a um, primary. Like okay. This, it's right here. It's a complete. Like, yeah. Left. Okay. It's a little hard to see yeah. the color. Yeah. You're right. Um, and they're the, like the cases can get more severe with like they're just the whole lip is missing in some cases. Um, and then this is an example of the uh, um, secondary cleft palate. And then you can see here, uh, this is the hard palate, and this is the soft palate. The, so this dog has both um, palates having clefts, like no. not forming correctly. Because then this is, you would say this is rostral, right? This is near the front of mm -hmm. the mouth. Like the look at the molars. That's molars back there, right? So that's caudal. This is rostral. Because okay. remember, you don't when you're in the head, you don't use cranium. Yeah, it's all You use rostral. Okay, I just want to orientate myself there. Okay. I should have the picture. That's fine. Um, so signs and symptoms of primary clefts, you can like see the teeth, um, or like the nostril shape might be a little bit off. It's a little bit lopsided. And that it's common for them to have runny noses because you can't keep it in. Uh, secondary cleft palates, uh, oftentimes food or saliva can expel from the mouth out of the nose, and they can have difficulty breathing or exercising. Uh, and in general, um, dogs with these cleft palates have slow growth, weight loss, and like um, lack of appetite because it, it might hurt to eat. And to diagnose, they do oral examinations. I mean, you can pretty much see it. And x-rays for like baby cases of pneumonia or um, viral infections. So this is a treatment of a primary cleft that I got off the website. Mm. And so primary clefts don't cause that many clinical like issues. They just look weird. Mm -hmm. And so it's a lot of times if an owner decides to have surgery it's just because they don't want their dog to look weird. And this is how they would um, do it surgically. And they they would just like sew it sew it together mm -hmm. and then let it heal. Yeah. And this is a treatment of secondary clefts. And they wait until the dog is at least three to four months so that it's the mouth is more developed and it's like more grown. Because um, when it's too small, you can't. It's gonna grow more, and it can tear it again. Mm -hmm. um, and they, this surgery is definitely recommended because if you don't have surgery, it can cause long-term nasal and lung infections, which is not good. Um, so this is a a case where the soft palate and the hard palate is um, is open, but the surgery is just of the soft. Palate. Now, are they going to do the um, hard palate later? Does it say okay? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. And the uh, like to care afterwards. They there might still be swelling, um, which can cause snoring. So don't like be um, alarmed if that happens. 
uh, antibiotics for pneumonia and nasal infections, which is like might already already have been there. And wear e collars for one to two weeks and two feed them. And two feeding um, for secondary class is common like before from one to three months because you can't a lot of them can't like take in food, so you like two. So you feed them by two. Before they even have surgery, because <laughs> food can get stuck. Sure. Too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then complications: the the surgical site might open again. They might have nasal discharge or sneezing and coughing or gagging. Um, and hopefully, like they they suggest to have a um, board certified that do the surgery so <coughs> these complications don't come up. Now, what would be the what would they be certified in? What? Um, Internal medicine? No. What it would be? I like that. Yeah. No, it's soft tissue surgery. Is there a board? Maybe it's boarded in soft tissue surgery? Yeah. There's a specialized I'm trying to think tissue. of. Okay. It's What's that? I'll think of it at like 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I can't. Oh, by the Yeah, because that's kind of delicate up there because you, <laughs> you suture too much and you don't get too far in the nasal yeah. cavity you can assume, but imagine. Okay. Oh, so suggestions. So don't breed any pets that have cleft palates. And these are uh, purebred and purebred dogs and cats have a higher incidence. And these are some of the breeds I found that have um, are higher in incidence rates. And um, even though genetics is a big factor of it, these nutrition nutritional dif uh, dif uh, deficiencies, deficiencies, viruses, and poisons can affect. Like the <coughs> that affect the mother mm -hmm. can have an effect on, on the fetus. On the fetus, okay. yes, and embryonic development. Now, point out brachycephalic breeds. Make sure everybody knows yeah. that. That's the Short dogs nose. that look like they ran into a wall. <laughs> basically, is the best way to say that. And they already have problems breathing mm -hmm. within panting and. Uh, <coughs> let's see. What's the dog that has to have a cesarean section? Bulldogs, yes. bulldogs. Yes. Bulldogs can French. 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 Bulldogs well, can give birth to uh, yes. yes. Bulldogs usually cannot. Yeah. Cannot, and then Pekingese, they, they can, bulldogs. but it's very high. Did you say Pekingese? Yeah. are very high in C sections yeah. as well, but they can have natural births. Bulldogs almost 99% yeah, cannot. Maybe there's a rare bulldog that can give birth, but. Yeah, they usually. Uh, like they schedule them. Yeah, yeah, we schedule ours. They, yeah. oh, she, her temperature's dropped. All right, come in. <coughs> See you in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's interesting you say that because. Some people don't know this. When a dog is going to give birth, one of the best signs is a drop in body temperature. And now, when that happens, how many hours do you have? Because I'm not sure if I know. Usually within a couple hours or so, they'll that start quick. having. Yeah, it's very quick. So, boom, okay. It's kind of like with people, it's different, but normally it's usually within a couple hours. Yeah. So Can we'd you give say. me numbers? How, you know, like it's this and then it drops to this? It's usually like. Normal is like 101, and it usually drops to like 99, 98. Okay, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so that is very dramatic. Yeah, it's a very noticeable change yeah, if yeah. they're doing what they're supposed to and do, checking And two to three hours after that, birth usually, starts. Yeah. Usually they'll start being uncomfortable, and that's, I mean, they're far along as well, yeah. start a C-section. For the bulldogs, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And I think sometimes with bulldogs, they even schedule them based on when they were bred. Yep, we do that too. Yeah. Not or we'll say weeks, they'll tell us like, hey, it's during that week, so yeah. I may be giving you a call, stuff like right. that. Okay, yeah. other questions, comments? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's Not really yeah. good. <laughs> no. Um, how many have seen this in person? Uh, you know, a dog or a cat? A number of you, yeah. And so you said dog, cat, people. Horses. Two horses, horses, too. Ruminants and camels. And what was it before the camels? Ruminants. Ruminants. Ru ruminants. Okay, you know, I've never seen it very I often. I actually had a really good picture of a cow with What's that? I have a picture of a cow with a really bad Okay, so send it to me and I'll show everybody Wednesday. But that's cool too. 